stand for an America, not of extremism and fury, but of decency and grace. Now at 10, President Biden joining lawmakers all across the country in a unified message condemning violence. This, of course, just one day after a gunman opened fire at a campaign rally in an attempt to assassinate former President Donald Trump. Well, tonight, as the shock settles in, we're learning new details about that shooter, the spectator who was killed, and the chaotic moments before and after that shooting. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the News at 10. I'm Rick Chambers. And I'm Corrine Winter. Former President Trump has arrived in Milwaukee, where he will be formally nominated as a Republican presidential candidate later this week after surviving that assassination attempt. Now, all this as we're learning more about the gunman who killed one spectator, critically injured two others. We've got live team coverage of the assassination attempt, the victims, and the political reaction to it all. Let's begin with Carlos Cesedo. He's in our newsroom tonight. Carlos? Rick Kareem, good evening. Tonight, the Commander-in-Chief speaking to Americans from the Oval Office calling for unity. But there are still many unanswered questions about how this all was able to unfold. Former President Trump is now in Wisconsin ready to accept his party's nomination for president after surviving an assassination attempt. Pandemonium. Seven minutes into former President Donald Trump's campaign rally in Butler, Pennsylvania, Saturday afternoon. Chaos erupting after Trump was grazed by a bullet to his right ear. Am I at the Trump rally and somebody just started shooting? What just happened? Oh my God. It was bullets. I mean, it wasn't. It wasn't firecrackers. I mean, they weren't. They weren't super loud shots. He's on top of the roof. Don't go over there. Multiple witnesses say they saw the gunman climbing onto a building where he opened fire from. On Sunday, the FBI identified the suspected shooter as 20-year-old Thomas Matthew Crooks. Seconds after the shooting, Secret Service agents shot him dead. Secret Service swarmed the stage before whisking away the former president. Trump could be heard saying, wait, wait, before forcing his fists into the air, mouthing, fight, fight. President Biden addressing the nation from the Oval Office a day after, condemning political violence. To call for action at the ballot box. No violence on our streets. That's how democracy should work. Calling for unity amid grief. Corey Comparator, a spectator, was fatally struck. A former fire chief, girl dad, and husband. The governor of Pennsylvania sharing messages from the man's wife. Corey died a hero. The Corey dove on his family to protect them last night at this rally. Corey was the very best of us. May his memory be a blessing. Now, this is the first assassination attempt of a president, current or former, since Ronald Reagan was shot back in 1981. And tonight, a motive remains unclear, but FBI officials believe the gunman acted alone. They say the rifle used was purchased legally. That's the latest from the KTLA News Center. Carlos Salcedo, KTLA 5 News. All right, Carlos, thanks for that. Let's